ang itinuturong dahilan ng patuloy na pagtaas ng temperatura ng mundo na sanhi ng climate crisis ay ang mataas na carbon emission o ang carbon dioxide sa atmosphere. Ayon sa International Energy Agency, ang carbon emission na nagmumula sa paggawa ng enerhiya ng mga coal-fired power plant ang responsable sa 30% ng carbon emission noong nakaraang taon. Kaya naman tuloy-tuloy ang paghahanap ng alternatibong mapagkukunan ng enerhiya. Dito sa Ateneo de Manila University, may mga estudyante na kaimbento ng isang instrumento na maaaring mag-convert ng enerhiya mula sa ulan at init ng araw. Kamakailan ay nanalo ang dalawang chemistry students ng Ateneo sa Go Green in the City Regional Finals 2019. Sila ang kumatawan sa ating bansa matapos manalo sa national finals. Ang contest na inilunsad ng French international company na Schneider Electric ay nangalap ng mga imbensyon mula sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo para sa sustainable na solusyon sa paggawa ng enerhiya. Ang kanilang nanalong imbensyon, isang aparato na makagagawa ng enerhiya mula sa ulan at sikat ng araw. So the rain shine panel is basically comes in two parts. One is a solar panel and then right under it is a graphene layer. And the graphene layer under the solar panel is what gets energy from the rain while the solar panel works just as any other solar panel does and gets energy from the sun. So in a way when it's sunny it'll just be like a regular solar solar panel but when it's raining and the solar panel is not as effective that's when it'll actually the rain will pass through the solar panel, through slits on the side of the solar panel, into the graphene layer and generate electricity based on this thing called the hydrovoltaic effect. Mas mainam raw ang kanilang rain shine panel kumpara sa tradisyonal na solar panels dahil makagagawa ito ng enerhiya kahit na tag-ulan. Well, I guess the biggest difference is that of course it generates energy from the rain. And so um, usually there are like five months in a year where it's just raining and raining and raining and the sun in the Philippines isn't as bright as it should be to be able to fully power a solar panel. And so if you just had a regular solar panel, it'll only be working for around half the year and the other half it would be only at around 10% efficiency. But with our rain shine panel, it could be at full force kind of theoretically throughout the whole year. Sa ngayon ay konsepto pa lang ang kanilang invention. Ngunit umaasa si Nayumi at Gabi na magagamit ito ng mga malalaking industriya at mga bahay sa hinaharap. Mahalaga kasi sa kanila na makahanap ng mapagkukunan ng enerhiya ng hindi nakapipinsala sa kalikasan. When you think about it, there's actually a lot of untapped energy just around us. So that's why we use things like wind power, that's why we use solar, and that's why we thought of the idea of using rain in tandem with solar because all of these resources are relatively unused and they're natural, they're not generated by us drilling into the earth or anything. So I think if people were to innovate more solutions like this and if people were able to find ways to get energy out of just things that are already around us, that's a huge source of untapped potential that can potentially power the whole world. Ang imbensyon ng dalawang estudyante ito, patunay na maging kabataan ay maaaring may maging kontribusyon sa pagsagip sa kalikasan. So as young people, we shouldn't be ashamed of our age and we should be bold and brave to really teach the older generations and lead the way in doing what we can to sustain the environment. Ang pagmamalasakit sa kalikasan at pagpapabuti ng buhay ng nakararami ay walang pinipiling edad. Ang kabataan, maraming maaaring magawa para maisalba ang kalikasan. Para sa Panahon TV, ako si Cathy San Gabriel.